No, I'm not insinuating it. I'm telling you that it is actually actually factual that a narcissist or a toxic person will like will insult you but cover it as a joke. And if you're new here, I'm a narcissist. I have narcissistic personality disorder. So a lot of narcissistic people are very, very passive aggressive. So instead of insulting you directly, don't insult you and say it as a joke or put laugh out loud behind the text. And the text message even isn't even funny. Like, hey, that kind of hurt my feelings, but he put laugh out loud behind it or she put laugh out loud behind it. So I guess it's okay. And that way, if you overreact to that, they can say, I was just joking. You, you Did you not see the laugh out loud behind it? Or in real life, face to face, they can just say, I was just joking. I'm, you take things too seriously, but you know that they were telling the truth. Some things are too personal to be joke, y'all. And narcissists will also confess to things, but tell you that they, a friend did it. Let me tell you this story about my friend cheating on, this, on, on his wife. Man, this story was crazy. Whole time, it's actually them. Let me tell you how my friend cheated on their husband. Whole time, it's them. What is going on, beautiful people? Welcome to another episode of A Narcissist Explains. I am self-aware, diagnosed narcissist Lee Hammock, and I use my platform on social media to raise awareness for NPD, get more people into therapy, and also validate the victims and survivors of this disorder. You know, because I know there's a lot of people out there, and you might not be crazy. Narcissists might be crazy. I might be crazy. I might be crazy. <laughs> <laughs> this series is dedicated to just making my TikToks and my YouTube shorts longer. They are 60 seconds or less. It's going to be a, lo a lot longer than 60 seconds, I, pr I promise. So, the TikTok you just watched, the YouTube short you just watched, was about uh, how some narcissistic people will literally take ill toxic people. We know every we know everybody's not a narcissist, y'all. Jesus, oh my goodness. Sorry for using your name in vain, Lord. But goodness gracious, y'all. We know everybody's not a narcissist. Narcissist is just a weird everybody throws around and boo 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 bee bee bee. We we get it. We get it. Thanks. We you know you must be new here. We get it. We understand. Um, but the one you just watched was say like literally how a narcissist will take a like it, insult you and cover it up as a joke. And then also in the back end, they will use jokes to cover up and other friends and stuff like that and co to cover up some stuff that they actually did to confess to you in a different in a sinister way we'll get to that second part so part one is about how to use jokes as you know as a cover up to insults a lot of times they'll do that y'all look something like i enjoy a little dark humor here and there y'all i really really do but some some stuff is too personal to be a joke it just is Narcissists like to make you feel bad, but also make you make you feel crazy at the same exact time because it's a power trip. It's all about control. Controlling the narrative of your emotions, controlling the narrative of how you feel, how you act, and how you respond. Getting a response to trigger like some not like that. Some of us, some narcissistic people, like to trigger you. Because if we trick if we can trigger you, we can control you. This point blank period. If we can trigger an emotional response from you, we can't control you. you know you can control me yeah you, you definitely can if we can trigger you we can control you if you're in the courtroom and we say a buzz or a trigger word to you and you snap and you look silly in court we can control you if i say if i tell people your reactions are your power against a narcissist in a lot of times like how you react is how is how you know how you react to a narcissist gives you the most control gives you the most power but like i said some stuff is too personal to joke about y'all like it is and like i said narcissists will literally a lot of narcissists like i said in the video are very very passive aggressive people very very passive aggressive people and yes some people are are act, i know somebody tried to cop like when i posted this as a youtube short somebody commented on this like lee you're wrong there all narcissists are passive aggressive nope 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 some narcissists are active aggressive they don't they won't be passive they'll directly insult you they don't cover it as a joke they'll tell you you fat they'll tell you ugly they tell you you, you you don't look good in that dress. That tuxedo makes you look fat. Your feet are fat. They'll, they'll literally insult you directly. Some people are active aggressive. Not everybody's passive aggressive, y'all. Not all narcissists are passive aggressive. Some people are active aggressive. They will just literally insult you. They won't, they won't, they won't put laugh out loud after they text. They'll literally tell you how you feel. You are dirty, stinking, beep, 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 beep. You won't get, you won't get a laugh out loud after that one. That's active aggressive. There's no passiveness there. <laughs> yeah. Well, like, like I say, the passive aggressive narcissist will send you a complete insult, whatever it is. It could be like, you like uh, your butt stinks so badly when you don't do that when you do this. What? Laugh out loud. You're like, that's really mean to say. It's just a joke. It's literally just a joke. We're clapping cheeks and your cheek in the in the whiff. It stinks so badly. Laugh out loud. Ha ha ha. 
You like, whoa, 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 bucko, whoa, what? That's really, really mean to say, and I know I don't stink. And you'll be like, that's just a joke. I was just messing with you. I was just playing. Like, wow, you are so dang on sensitive. Like, you need to grow some thicker skin because you're way too sensitive. You cannot take a joke at all. Wow, I can't talk to you. I say I can't even joke with you because you take everything seriously and hurt your own, you hurt your own feelings. You didn't see the laugh out loud? Clearly I was joking. Clearly I was messing with you. A lot of narcissists will, like, they'll use, they'll, like, sometimes the, their passive aggressiveness will come out, like, they'll be, they'll try to be active aggressive and depending on your response, that's when they'll cover it as a joke. Like, that, you, you wearing that, you wearing that tonight? Ugh. Yuck. And you respond, your response dictate how, how, how it go. Like, that's so me. I look great. And you're like, I was just joking. <laughs> Goodness gracious. You, wow. Wow, you are way too sensitive. If you feel that, if you if you give me that much power of how you think, wow, 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 wow. You in for a rough ride with me here, young lady, young bucko, young buckaroo. You know what I mean? So it's something as simplistic as that right there, y'all. That's what I, I tell people, like, don't, like, some stuff is too personal to joke about. It just is. They're, like, you can't put laugh all out behind a death threat. They can't even, like, threaten to unalive you and then put laugh all out behind it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna choke you out when I, like, if you keep running in your mouth, I'm gonna choke you out, laugh all out. Huh? What? I'm gonna strangle you, laugh all out. No, yo, everything can't, you can't joke about everything, y'all, I, I don't care. Dark humor is, uh, you can't joke about everything, I don't care what you say, you just can't, you can't do that. You know, people are like, yes, you can, Lee, you gotta get, Lee, you're too sensitive, you gotta grow some tougher skin, bro. Dark humor is where it's at. You gotta get, you gotta get, I get it. Okay, so part two of that, I was saying some narcissistic people will confess stuff to you, but either cover with a joke or say a friend did it. So this is part two right here, y'all. It's like when a narcissist, like, guilt, nar nar narcissists do feel guilty, y'all. This stuff sits on our conscience for a long time. So instead of confessing to something that could ruin our lives, we'll say our friend did it. We'll say our buddy, we'll say our friend did it, our brother did it, or something our dad did to our mom. Or something like that. We'll just cover it up as somebody else doing it. And it's a very, very sinister way to confess. Very sinister way to confess. Because you think a friend did it. Girl, let me tell you about this time, my friend. Like, I got some crazy friends. Now, my friend, like, literally, like, cheated on his wife with this girl at work. He was doing it for a very, very long time. And he thought about leaving his wife for it. Like, he thought about leaving his wife. But then he talked, look, and then he talked to me. I told him, like, look, is it worth losing your wife over this, this random girl from work? Is it worth it? And he's like, nah, man. And he looked. He did it a couple of times. He cut that relationship off. And he, him and his wife are better than ever now. And she never found out. And the, the world is, the marriage is better off for it. And you like, wow, your friend is a terrible person. So he cheated on his wife? Did, he, did she never find out? No, she, no, she, didn't. she never found out. But they doing good, though. So he, he cut it off and he's not doing it anymore. Wow, that's, that's still kind of bad, though. Wow, yikes. Whole time in that story. I'm back, y'all. End scene. So, whole time, the, the, the buddy in that story is him. It's your boyfriend. It's your girlfriend. It's your husband. It's your wife. That's them confessing to you. But they just told you a friend did it. <laughs> they were going to leave you, and one of their friends talked them out of it. And now y'all bears is happier than ever. You see how they just use that to cover that? They use, they use, they, they, they just put other, they, they move the people around in the stories to cover it up. They just do. And it's sinister, y'all. It's, it's a very, very sinister way to confess some stuff that, that they have done. It just is. And that's how the narcissistic mind works. Like, and they feel, and they, and they, and like, when they confess like that, they feel like they got away with it. Like, dang, I, I, you know, I, yeah, I just, wow, I got away with that? You know. I can't believe I got away with it. Then it, it gives it gives the narcissist a feeling of power and control over the situation because they feel like they got away with it, because they feel like they escaped accountability, right there. They literally, you know, they literally feel like they got away with it. Like yeah, they running around the street, like running around the street screaming, like I did it, I got away. Then it makes them feel good. It makes them feel empowered. And it's, it's, it's I'm telling you. I know the feeling. Not this is old, old. This old Lee. I'm like Lee, 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 Lee. That story sounds a little too personal, Lee. You just, you just telling yourself? No, I did not just tell myself. <laughs> Laugh all out. 
I gotta stop messing with y'all, for real. Oh, I, I really do. I gotta stop messing with y'all. I'm good, y'all. I'm, I'm good. Laugh all out. <laughs> now, but seriously, so I tell this to people all the time, though, y'all. A narcissist will tell on themselves. You just have to listen to what they're saying. You have to read between the lines. You have to sift through the BS. But they will 100% tell on themselves all the time. You just have to listen to it and pick it apart. Anyway, y'all, let me hop off this thing. I got a one-on-one -on -one here in like one minute. Goodness gracious. I'm really, truly appreciating every single one of y'all. Like and subscribe for more. Mental illness is out. Peace.